my name is Ranish and uh, I'm from SVNIT Surat. We are here at Bennett University doing our winter internship and uh, our project topic is uh, text to image generation using generative adversarial networks. We are working on the one or two flowers data set which has uh, captioned images of flowers and uh, you must have heard about image captioning. Um, recently Google, Google has released its conceptual captions data set which has image URLs along with their captions and it has uh, achieved above 95 percentage of accuracy. Native adversarial networks or GANs are already being used widely uh, and one of the applications uh, is uh, generating uh, uh, images which look realistic. So uh, we are, our application is using uh, an input text which is converted into word embedding vector and it is given as an input to, to a generator neural network. Traditionally uh, a single neural network uh, is it does not perform uh, well on uh, applications uh, uh, of content generation but uh, GANs use two neural networks one is gen generator and the other is discriminator so we are giving a text input to the generator which is uh, generating uh, an image output this image output is fed to the discriminator now the discriminator is already trained on the uh, data set of real images images with their captions so the generator, uh, so the uh, discriminator takes in the output from the generator and uh, uh, analyzes the uh, image for uh, authenticity based on the pre-trained models. Reviewed papers. Uh, GAN was introduced by Ian Goodfellow. The first GAN architecture used fully connected neural network. They are used to simple image data sets like uh, MNIST and uh, DFT and uh, Cypher 10. Uh, later, uh, Scott Reed and their team published an article uh, titled on uh, Generative Adversarial uh, Text to Image Synthesis. Uh, in that, they are used CUP data sets and ARCs for 102 plus. Uh, in our project, we are used 102 plus data set. From, uh, downloaded, uh, it's downloaded from uh, some online repositories. Um, and then we need uh, software requirements of this project is uh, TensorFlow and TensorLayer and NLTK. Uh, I'm Dinesh uh, from Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, Coimbatore. Uh, today I'll cover the functionality and testing of our model. Uh, the functionality and testing consists of four major steps. Uh, the first step is data set and the model download and the second step uh, is uploading our model to DGX which is a supercomputer here uh, and the third step is uh, training of our model and the fourth step is testing. Uh, first I'll cover the first step, uh, data set and model download. The reason text to image generator model has been downloaded from the GitHub and uh, the data set uh, we had taken is Oxford on uh, 102 flash data set which consists of 102 classes of flash and we downloaded it uh, from the uh, Coco database and the second step is uh, uploading our model to DGX. Uh, uploading our model uh, consists of uh, requires some software requirements like PuTTY and WinSCP. WinSCP is used to transfer of files and models to DGX and PuTTY is used to uh, run the code in DGX. The third step is training of our model. Uh, we trained our model uh, with 100 epochs. Uh, 100 epochs and each epoch consists of 125 batches and 
uh, the training times uh, for 8,189 images uh, takes nearly up two hours to train. and uh, the training times uh, for 8,189 images uh, takes nearly up two hours to train and the fourth major step is uh, testing our model with the uh, test captions uh, our train model has been saved as .npz file which was the zip files of .npy that is numpy file uh, and the fourth major step is uh, testing uh, we test our model with the uh, caption, uh, test captions uh, like the yellow flower. Uh, we can give any other any captions to test the model. Uh, there, there is an, uh, the performance metrics of our model is inception score and transit inception distance. Uh, these are two two major parameters to uh, analyze our performance of a model. Uh, the inception score of our model is uh, 3.189. It, it, after successful testing of our model, uh, we deployed our model in a web application. Uh, the saved model uh, size was nearly 250, uh, 250 MB. Uh, so we uh, decided to go for a web server uh, and we uploaded our model, uh, train model uh, to the web server and connected, to the, connected with the web application we had created. Uh, 
the the web application consists of a text field uh, from uh, which can we we can enter uh, whatever the text or input uh, will enter and uh, it generates uh, and it connects to the uh, web server and after entering our input in a uh, web application it connects to the web server and, uh, and the model in the server uh, generates images and uh, sends to the web application uh, the generated images are displayed in a, a web application in this form.